Hi there, Scorpio, Scorpio sign, moon, and rising sign. This is your August 2020 love monthly forecast reading with me, Chrissy from InStars by Chrissy.com. Now, for this month, I'm actually using a new deck with me, as you can see on this video, and it's actually called the Tarot of Sexual Magic. I have the box over here. So it's by Laura Dwan and it's a deck that I've been eyeing on for quite some time now. And it's actually a very wonderful deck to use, especially for love and relationships. Though so some people might not like how the imagery is um, of this deck because it's very sexual. You know, it contains a lot of erotic um, tendencies and all of that but each and every card has a story to it so you cannot just judge everything based on what you can see in the card in itself as well so you need to take a look on what um, Laura Tuan um, um, is portraying in this and you know of course make your own use of your judgment and intuition as you go along. So um, yeah, I'm excited how this goes. And if you do find it insightful and you feel that you are resonating to it, let me know. I would love to hear if that is the case. So I'll continue using it for my readings with you guys. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get on straight into the reading. Now, your first card of the deck we have over here is the Ten of Cups. This is the Ten of Cups. Not sure if you guys can see clearly, but yes. Okay, here, here, here. Yeah, this is the Ten of Cups. And it has a very comfortable vibe to it. And as usual, every Ten of Cups has a, always a, a positive energy into this. And with Laura Twan's um, Tarot of Sexual Magic, this is actually talking about attachments. So I kind of feel that, you know, the entire month of August, you know, even, I'm not sure. I don't think that we have any retrogrades going on here except for, you know, the outer planets in astrology. But I kind of feel that this can really trigger a lot of nostalgia in you because we do have here the card of attachments. And it is also being crossed over by the Five of Swords, which is, um, I would not say it's a, it's not really a negative deck, but it's like you're thinking of, about a relationship, but at the same time, there is some form of awkwardness into that. There's something that you are not sure of, or maybe, maybe you are hesitating on something. It has a lot to do with fear and judgment and shame, those kinds of things. And with Laura Twan, she was like saying that, you know, there is something that you need to overcome. You need to overcome the judgment. You need to overcome the shame and all of that to shake things up. You know, it's also a card of risk. So there could be, you know, you could be focusing on a partnership. It could be, you know, someone from the past or a past relationship, or it could be with your current partner as well. It's going to be very different. Um, and we are dealing with, you know, a whole lot of Scorpio peoples out here. So um, it's going to be hard to pinpoint which is which. All I know is that, you know, you are treasuring a certain partnership, a certain relationship. And whether it's by habit or maybe because you have a sense of true love and disconnection, you are really, you know, think you're still very attached to it. You know, that is actually a, a very key word into this. You are very attached to a relationship. But at the same time, even though that it's a relationship that, actually gives you ecstasy really makes you really really happy and you feel really connected with this person because you know a foundation card you do have here the nine of cups you know it feels as if you could be thinking of someone that is your perfect match someone that makes you happy not just 
on a physical plane, you know, it they they give you an emotional happiness, spiritual connection, and it's just even though that they may be perfect or may be imperfect, they are definitely perfect for you. That is how you see them, but it could be possible that there are some form of complications into that relationship. It could be that you guys had an history together before because here at the top of the reading we do have here the four of swords and the four of swords in this deck has a lot to do with masturbation and you know masturbation is about pleasing yourself so it could be a situation where in maybe you're thinking about them for your own benefit but with lord twins um um explanation of the four of swords it's like you know when you don't have anyone or something like that you know you you you, you please yourself but if it takes long enough you know after some time maybe there is a need for you to 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 contact someone ask for forgiveness and all of those kinds of things so there are some form of limitation and restriction into this reading and at the same time there is a form of happiness involved as well so it, i kind of feel that this could be a very complicated situation wherein someone makes you really really happy but at the same time there is a reason why you're not together or why things have become complicated it's like you wanted to reach out to someone you wanted to hug someone kiss someone you wanted to make someone your own but at the same time you know it's just not happening or at the very least there is a reason why you know you're feeling conflicted into this so we we have here, you know, the Empress card at the recent past. So you could be thinking of a woman. It could be your Scorpio girl or you could be, you know, this is the card of inviting intention and invitation. So I would say that this could be a situation we're in. Maybe you're, you haven't been thinking about what truly makes you happy. But for some reason, you know, as the day passed by, you're coming into terms of really wanting to please yourself, really wanting to, to really focus on what really makes you happy, not just what makes other people happy. What, you know, it's like that situation wherein you are focusing on what is good in the public eye? You know, what is good? What is the right thing to do? But the right thing to do doesn't always mean that it's going to be the most happiest thing to do. You know, that kind of energy. So, um, yeah, uh, hold on a bit. The light is very dark. So I'll try to, yeah. Okay, mm, I think this is better. So, yeah, that is really the card. So you're thinking about, you know, something that I kind of feel that for a lot of Scorpios, you are now at the point of your life or in. Even though that there could be some other reasons why you are preventing yourself to be happy, this is a time where in, you tell yourself that screw that. I want to do this. I want to have this. I want to have this relationship back in my life. It's like, I'm not saying that you are going to do this, okay? It's just that the feeling, the energy, it's like there is a form of driving factor in you wherein you're longing for something emotionally, of course. So you might be questioning yourself, um, you know, in the near future or all throughout the month of August we're in should I go back to the past or should I go back to the future you know what is really important here and this is you know the six of pentacles is always talking about you know weighing things out 
should you accept someone it's like eventually though you will understand that the key into this is to is to be able to to do what you can in this in this present moment it doesn't matter what is in the past it doesn't matter what is in the future it's the action that you take at this present moment you will be giving yourself time to really think about things and maybe this is about you know surprising someone <laughs> could be you know I just kind of feel that this is the month wherein you are going to feel all of these energies and at the same time, you are going to be weighing things for a major decision in place. Now, you have here the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is, you know, the card that has a lot to do with, with a lot of thinking. It has a lot to do with communication all at the same time. I kind of feel that you are in the situation wherein words that you speak is going to play an important role. And you know this. And maybe this is the reason why you are hesitating because I do see quite of a hesitation in this reading. It has a lot to do with promise all at the same time. As you can see, this man is wooing the woman. And a woman is just, you know, um, looking into a, a different direction, that kind of energy. So I feel that you know that if you choose to pursue someone, maybe someone that in the past, you know, it's something that you have to stick through to the end. And it's not something that you, you can change your mind in the blink of an eye. And, but, you know, there's a lot of timing in place in this reading. We also have here the Seven of Pentacles, another, another, um, another card that has a lot to do with, you know, habits, has a lot to do with timing. You know, it's also in Laura Twan's, um, message about this card. It's like, some form of love or relationship they cannot really they cannot really always blossom in each and every time especially if you're not giving energy into it so it's like telling us that just thinking about someone may be not enough or if you want to engage with someone you might need to 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 do some form of risk to do some form of action to be with them and all that it could be a situation also wherein there is a form of being tired into the situation of you know it could be that yeah you feel all this you miss that person but you are very much tired to act and maybe they are too so there is a situation here wherein nothing is really happening and all those kinds of things and another card here is a, a very much of a waiting and patient card. So uh, this is a Seven of Swords. So this is all about, you know, really talking about perseverance. Really wanting to, to overcome adversities. And maybe this is what you're hoping for. Or this could be something that you are fearing, like even though that you take action into this, it might still not work out. You know, there's a lot of fears in that. And take note that the man and the woman are as actually, you know, on different directions. You know, they have their other concerns. And maybe this is a situation wherein they the two of them are waiting on each other, you know. No one is taking action. The man is not taking action. The woman is also not taking action. So it's like a waiting war zone. It's not really a war, but you know, you know what I mean. So and the outcome card here that we have is the hermit card. So this is actually a very interesting hermit card. Where in you know you you, fe you see this man be feeling rejected, dejected, and it feels as if that he's thinking of of the past, or maybe there is 
th- it, it could be that this is a man who who wants a woman who's maybe already happy. I mean, he doesn't really know that. So it's just something that he is assuming. So, so it's like there is a situation here of feeling rejected, feeling down, feeling, you know, it's like, I really want to do all these kind of things. I want to be in this relationship. I want to be, I want this partner. But at the same time, there's a lot of fears of things not working out. So it does, again, I'm not saying it's not going to work out. It's just that what you are feeling, you are feeling a lot of fears. You're feeling, you're basically thinking of all of the negative things that can occur in the situation. Now, what's interesting here is you have here Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we have Mars here in the 12th house. So your 12th house is very much activated. And what do we mean by the 12th house? 12th house has a lot to do with, first of all, you know, karmic connections, the past, something that, you know, that's always been in our unconscious mind. So this could be definitely be someone, you know, in the past that you may not have been reaching out with, but secretly you still hold them very, very much dear into your heart. There is a situation here wherein you wanting to improve a connection, improve a relationship, but there is a problem, you know, this problem needs to be overcome if you want to to cross that bridge you know to connect with that person again i do feel that if you do take that action if you do cross that bridge you know it could be a different story overall you know it could be an opportunity for something and you could be friends again you there could be forgiveness in the air but for now this is a month where in, you know, you, you maybe, it could be a month of realizations. It could be a month where in you question so many things. You realize so many things. Maybe you are going to realize that, yes, I still do love this person. What you do about that is a different story, of course, but this is like the energies involved here. There is something that you are going to find insight on and you have to do it by yourself you know no one's going to help you with that no one's going to lend you a helping hand but this realization is going to be your stepping stone in you know taking another direction and a forward moment into your life and into your relationships so i mean yeah and i feel that you know this is something that you really really need to think carefully so um again it's not just all about the feeling you need to take a look into the long term whether you are going to pursue this and you know make all your dreams happen with that person or if you are going to just let this dream set aside and then you know move on with your life you know so a lot of things can really occur into this reading but The major thing is there's something that you are going to realize, you're going to find out, and something could actually blossom inside of you. And by by that, that is the the key point and the foundation of your next action in your life is maybe on next month or, you know, as we go along the month of August. 2020 so um yeah this is my reading for you guys scorpio scorpio sign moon rising sign again this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in for the rips of each and every scorpius out there just keep that in mind so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i shall see you guys again next month